thanks, Insik. Uh, so I guess I'm here uh, representing the ACTP, and first of all, I wanted to uh, uh, thank, uh, well, welcome everyone uh, to this workshop. Uh, Anna actually asked me to give you a little bit uh, of an overview of what the ACTP is and what our uh, section is, uh, for, especially for people who have never been actually here. So the ACTP was funded in uh, 1964 by a very famous uh, physicist called Abdul Salam. Um, and the main mission of ACTP is actually to foster research and education and science uh, in developing countries. So essentially, we mostly work with, uh, uh, with developing countries. So originally, the center was born as a theoretical physics center, from which the name. But over the years, especially after uh, uh, Abdul Salam passed away, the uh, directors that actually followed him started building, you know, expand the ACTP in new areas. And one of the areas was uh, Earth System Science. Essentially, our section, I was called the Earth System Physics section, was born in 1998, which is pretty much, well, not pretty much, it's the year when I uh, actually came here. Uh, I just wanted to give you a very quick overview of what we do, uh, in case you might be interested in uh, some of the activities we have here. Uh, the section now has uh, seven scientific staff. You see there the, uh, the list of them. I guess you know Ricardo Farnetti, Fred uh, Kucharski, but uh, there are um, uh, Adrian Tompkins, Erika Coppola, Fabian Solmon, and Karim uh, Audia. Uh, we also just very recently hired a software engineer, so we have, uh, let's say, eight uh, permanent staff in our section, and we have about uh, 20 to 25 uh, what we call long-term visitors, so people who come here for uh, extended periods from uh, several months to a year or a few years, postdoctoral fellows and PhD students. Uh, two staff associates, one is uh, in sick here, uh, Shukla, I don't know if he's here actually, um, senior consultant, <coughs> and uh, we organize every year uh, what we call the educational or scientific activities, such as this one. Uh, we organize every year about 10 or 12 of uh, events uh, very similar to the, well, not similar, but uh, along the lines of this one, so workshops or conferences. And you should probably know that any of you can actually apply to organize one of such conferences. There is usually a deadline on uh, 15th of February for the following year. Uh, you can send a two, three page uh, proposal and these are evaluated uh, for, uh, for funding. Uh, so if you're interested in uh, co-sponsoring or organi organizing one of these activities at this point for 2017, uh, you can go to our website to get some information or talk to me or Fred or, or, or anybody. This is actually uh, possible. We also have a diploma program. It's a one-year program for uh, students from the least developed countries. Uh, we have about 10 students, 10 to 12. Uh, we also have a PhD in environmental uh, fluid dynamics. I think it's the official name, maybe, I guess. It keeps changing, actually, but uh, at some point it was called environmental fluid dynamics, more or less, it's something like that, uh, with the University of Trieste, which, again, if anybody is interested. And very recently we started a master's, well, we are contributing to a master's in uh, global change ecology also with the university. So we are expanding also our uh, educational activities. Uh, very quickly, these are the areas of research that we work on. Uh, mostly we work on uh, various aspects of our system modeling that I will mention in a couple of minutes. Uh, anthropogenic climate change, of course, uh, especially something that I've been working for a long time. Uh, natural climate dynamics and variability and uh, seasonal interannual predictability. Uh, oceanography, Ricardo is leading a small group on oceanography and ocean climate interactions. Uh, chemistry climate interactions, uh, Fabien Solmon is actually uh, leading that. Uh, biosphere atmosphere interactions, also an area where uh, we've been uh, interested and uh, now we're developing a lot of impact, uh, mo moving a little bit more also towards the impact modeling, especially with uh, Adrian Tompkins. And of course we have a lot of activities also in um, uh, solid earth science, uh, so study of earthquakes, volcanoes, and the structure of the lithosphere. 
So it's a fairly broad range of, uh, of activities that we deal with, but the, our bread and butter is uh, modeling. In particular, uh, we try to develop modeling, uh, sort of support the uh, needs of uh, developing countries. In particular, here at CTP, we have a, a regional modeling system that we develop is a community model. Uh, this is something that I've been working on for the last 25 years, at least as long as I can remember. Uh, we also have a, uh, we can run this model in a tropical band mode. So it's a sort of a semi-global model if you want. We have this intermediate com complexity model called Speedy that I think uh, many of you know about. This was developed originally by Franco Molteni, who is here somewhere. There he is. He was actually one of our uh, staff members who left with a great sorrow of everybody uh, a number of years ago. Uh, but we still work with him. Um, so this model called Speedy, I think there are a few talks on that. And as I said, we, uh, we have a number of impact models. We have a malaria model. Uh, we have a hydrology model and so on. And the, with all these models, what we try to do, we try to make them community models so they can be used by uh, scientists, especially scientists in, uh, in developing countries. And for these uh, reasons, we... Uh, we try to develop some uh, networks uh, through developing countries. This, this is an example of the types of networks we have in, uh, in, uh, in Africa, uh, different types of networks, seismological network, climate network, impacts network, and, and so on. So we have actually a very large uh, range of, uh, of connection throughout the uh, developing world. So this is pretty much a very quick run on of what we do. Uh, if you are interested in having more detail, you can talk to me or to Fred or anybody else. And uh, again, I welcome you and uh, hope you enjoy your, your stay here. Uh, not only the food, there are many good things about Italy. Thanks very much. <laughs>